What is going on guys? West Coast Florida Fishing here. And today in this video we are going to be completely taking apart the Stratic 5000 FK and completely rebuild it. When I got this reel from a friend it was completely seized up and the handle wouldn't spin the rotor or anything at all. And um, through a little bit of finagling I was able to break it free and now it sounds uh, like it needs a lot of TLC. So we're going to go ahead and give it, um, give it some nice TLC this video. This will work if you have any reel that's really seized up or really loud. I'm basically going to be going over how to completely restore it. You can see how dirty this thing is with the scale on it and just a whole bunch of crap. I'm going to show you how to basically clean up everything to make it look completely brand new. And just for a sound comparison, this is a recently serviced Stratic 3000 that I have here. And I'll just show you what it sounds like. You can hear it's not too loud, you can hear a little bit of stuff, but it's pretty quiet for the most part. So if we go ahead and pick up this 5000s and give it a reel, you'll hear it. So you can tell that a few things are wrong. Um, you can also feel a difference when you're, when you're actually spinning the handle. You can almost feel it being a little geary and I'll show you what that sounds like. So this thing needs to be ripped apart and completely replaced to usually um, this is caused by bearings. Sometimes it could be a broken gear in there that causes it to seize up. But we're going to be rebuilding this. This might be a two part series because I will have to run over to the store and pick up some, um, some replacement bearings and if anything else is broken I'll have to replace that as well. Alright the tools you're going to need for this is going to be a multi kit screwdriver set kind of like this one this is a craftsman it doesn't have to be craftsman obviously but what you do need are the torque sets that go six and below and obviously your Phillips head for everything else you see you have little torque screw heads there there I mean there's one up here and um, right down there there's a small one as well so you're gonna need uh, the torque set if you have any little T torque set you can use that with your screwdriver to get this thing apart. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top here and just take this off. As you go through taking this reel apart, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you know where everything goes and be able to put it back together exactly how it was. One thing I forgot was to make sure you lay down a couple paper towels just so that you don't get grease on, on things that you don't want grease on. That's very important because grease does not come out of clothes. Mark my words. Ask me how I know. Alright, once we have some paper towels underneath us, we can start lifting these little spacers off and putting them down. Alright, next thing you want to do before you take this rotor off is take off this handle. Not forwards, backwards. And it pops right off. That'll just make everything uh, a lot easier to get to. Alright, next. We have that little 0.9 torque head, as you can see. I actually forgot mine, my screwdriver, at the other house I live at, so I'm gonna improvise and use a knife. <laughs> Looks a little brolic, I know, but we're gonna go ahead and just stick it in there and unscrew it. Hope you guys are picking up that this is actually working. Make sure you don't lose this piece. All right. All right, and everything just fell off, which is fine. So with that over there, get your screw, push that up over there. Now we have these two screws right here that we can take off. What I like to do is keep everything in little sections as I take them apart. Because that'll 
that'll make me uh, jog my memory to put it all back together just the exact same way that I took it all apart. So as you notice, this thing is a little rubber seal. If you flip it over, you can see that it's ridged. So that part goes down. So we'll set that down like that. Next we have this little retaining nut right there. As you can see, it's unscrewing clockwise, so it's counter threaded. Just go ahead and take a simple set of pliers and grab onto it and twist. We just broke it free, so we should be able to do the rest. Nope. Sometimes they're super corroded. They need a little bit of extra help. All right, looks like we got that one now. All right, this part can be tricky. Sometimes that pinion gear right there will corrode to the inside of the rotor. So when that happens, and it won't just come off by going up like that, what you'll have to do is, I'll try to demonstrate and show you how I was able to, uh, to get it free, is you'll have to rock it forward and backwards just like that. It'll just keep going and it'll slide right off. So you can see that there was a little bit of corrosion right there. On the underside, it's not looking too clean. Set that aside. All right, now we're getting into the important part. If you did not take the handle off yet, you're gonna have to put the rotor back on and unwind it because try to unwind it, there's really not much to grab. Okay, the next part of this you have to be very careful of. This is, uh, we're about to get into the main body of the Stratic. A lot of delicate things in there. A lot of things you don't wanna mess up. So this thing right here, this seal, this black little rubber ring, it's actually hydrophobic. It has a little coating on there. The more you touch that little seal, the less coated it will be, and you wanna keep that as coated as possible. You don't want water getting in the top side of this reel. So next, we're simply gonna start taking off this uh, this body piece right here. So you're gonna need a little small, tiny Torx head like that. All right, just unscrew that. Since this guard is a different piece, we're gonna go ahead and set that over here so we don't forget. Okay, now with this, we have our worm gear plate right here. That's where we upgraded the bushing to a bearing on our other reel. And it's actually the same exact size bushing from size 1000 to 5000 with the Stratic. So you can replace every single one of them with the same bearing, which is pretty sweet. Okay, what I like to do is I like to orientate the reel in a certain fixed position. When I take out screws, it'll go in that correlating position. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, as you can see, that roughly resembles the taking out pattern. And I just do that so everything goes back in nice. You can keep that on if you want to. Next step is taking off the anti reverse. And that's pretty simple. You have four screws here. This one you don't want to take off. These other three is the ones that you want to take off. If you take off this one right here, you'll actually start to disassemble, disassemble the inner reverse. And you don't want to get into that. Trust me. All right. So after taking all these screws off, the whole pinion will just slide underneath the AR. There's an AR sleeve in there as well. So that whole assembly can just sit over there for now. Now we can really start to see why it was seized on there. You can see all that rust and corrosion and gunk. That gear right here, this is a bearing. This gear it looks like was completely stuck to this rusty bearing and that's why it wasn't spinning at first. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue to take this main body off. 
Okay, so to continue taking this reel apart, you're going to need to take this rubber stopper and carefully pry it up and off of the reel. And you don't want to damage this rubber stopper because when you stop your rotor, this is what it grabs onto so it doesn't keep spinning when you're not reeling. So this just comes off, lays over on the side. This gasket also, same thing is going to sit right over there. You don't want to lose that gasket. One simple thing lost and the whole reel won't function correctly. Now we are able to take this reel apart. And there is the inside. I'll go ahead and turn on the camera's light for you guys. All right, now that the camera's light is on, you guys will be able to see much better. So you can see all that gunk just sitting right on top of that main gear. And I will tell you that the inside doesn't look as bad as the outside. There's a little bit of corrosion here and there. That's that ring holder. So to completely take this apart, the next step is gonna be to simply take off this oscillation system right here and take this pinion gear out as well. So that just comes right off. And it's a little stuck because the inside's a little corroded. You can see we have two bearings on there and sometimes there'll be a shim on this bearing down here. So you have to be careful. Like I said, any shims that don't get replaced, it will make the entire difference in your reel. Next, all you gotta do is take your main main shaft here and push down. You can see this little piece right here just holding everything in together. Now you can go ahead and just completely take off this main shaft, put it to the right. So we're getting closer here. You can see all in there, you can see up top, all that rust. And that was definitely our main cause of the reel being completely seized. So with cleaning up of that and a new bearing in there, this reel should perform good as new. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take the main gear out of the body. That should just pop right off. Um, you can see that there is a little bit of corrosion and rusting going on with this bearing. So this bearing is probably gonna need to be replaced as well. Underneath this bearing, there's actually a whole bunch of shims. And actually, one of my subscribers commented on my other video and asked how to reduce handle play in the brand new FL. And how you do that is when you take off this bearing right here, you increase the amount of shims. They're very, very thin. They're, they're literally like tenths of a millimeter. And you just keep adding them behind this bearing to this main gear till you don't feel that handle play. All right, so having this completely hollowed out, we can now clean this properly. Um, you can see that up here is a little bit of gunk and goo and residue that we can clean off as well. There is a little seal right here. That goes all the way in and that actually connects right up there where that black ring is. I'll point it out a little bit better. That goes right up here. It goes all the way across. So be careful you put that back. Next thing over here we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and take out that bearing. Oh, yep, there's a, there's another thing that, that we can talk about in this video. So this bearing looks strange. And the reason being is because it's not just a bearing. It's on the, it's on the ground now. Okay. So this bearing also has the main gear bushing on there. That's a common problem with the Stratix. You gotta be very careful not to lose this bushing right here. This bushing goes right on the main gear at the very end, like so. And the way they made them was they actually break free and stick on the other side. So it's not a big deal, just something to uh, look out for when you're taking apart your reel, make sure you don't lose this. It has to go back 
or else your reel is not going to uh, be consistent. It's going to knock around inside when you put it back together. So just be careful of that. All right, so we got this bearing off. So this side is getting down to the bare basics. Up here we have our gears and our gearing. So you can see they all look pretty good. So what I'm going to do is leave those inside and just clean them as I spin, which should, uh, should definitely clean them up enough. You can see all this old grease right here. All this can come out with a little Q-tip, which is what I'll be using. And we're just going to try to clean up as much as we can around this. All right, so before I run out to the store and go get some Q-tips, because it looks like I'm completely out, I'm going to show you how to test these bearings to make sure that they are the, uh, the, the problem. So what you're going to use is a little set of tweezers. And all you do is slide your bearing over top of the tweezers and basically push it on until you cannot put it any further on. What this does is it adds pressure to the inside wall. When it does that, it pushes on the actual balls inside the bearing against the outer wall. You can start to hear and feel how bad the bearings actually are. You will feel the little grains of salt and everything else rubbing along on the inside as you spin this on your finger. One of the big ones I'm thinking is going to be this main pinion bearing right here. I mean, you can see how disgusting this, this bearing is. So what I'm going to do is just clean it up a tiny bit. A lot of sand and debris in it. I mean, you can see as I'm rolling it, you can see it catch sometimes. Let's see if I can get it. You guys can hear this too. It's not supposed to make any noise or any sound at all. This is a pairing. It's supposed to be completely smooth. So this one definitely needs to be replaced. So if you can't get this bearing off, um, the reason being is because this outer side has been flattened by screwing the handle on, sometimes too tight. And to break it free, you're going to need either two screwdrivers or a screwdriver and a knife, which is what I'll, I'll be using in this video. So you just take your screwdriver and your knife side, like this. You get one on both sides. And you're just going to pry at opposite ends until it pops off. I'm going to do this down against the table so I don't hurt myself or make the bearing fling all over the place. I'm going to grab some bigger tools. All right, I grabbed some bigger tools. Let's give this a shot. I'm going to stick this one in there on that side. Ooh. We're going to try turning it this way. Thing is really stuck on there. There it goes. If you guys have a better method of taking this off, let me know in the comments. Because I am not sure any other way than this. I think I've made my mistake. Um, that thing is very small. And I have a much larger one to replace it with. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a shot now. Hey, we got it. Finally. Wow. We finally got it. Whew. 
This bearing is definitely no good. Yeah. See that ticking? That's obviously not a good thing. So all four of these bearings need to be replaced. At your tackle shop uh, near you, they if they do repair reels, they usually sell bearings at around ten dollars a piece. So we're looking at forty bucks just some bearings, but we're doing everything else ourselves. So we shouldn't be paying any more than forty bucks for basically a brand new reel, which is pretty good going from C's to uh, working smooth and everything else. So we're gonna go ahead and um, clean everything up. I'm gonna do that off camera, no one wants to watch that. And then I'm going to go run out to the store, pick up some more bearings for us and <laughs> replace one of these tiny shims that we actually broke off trying to get the, the bearing off. So I will see you guys in the next episode. If you guys did like it so far, please hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay tuned for the next part of this video coming soon. Everything's a mess here. <laughs> That's how you know that we've been we've been working hard. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching the video. And if you had stayed to this long, comment down below and say what your favorite part was, and I'll try to respond to everyone's comments. All right, guys. Have a great day and happy holidays.